everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia and today we are watching Ginny and Georgia season 2 episode 2. If you want to watch our uncut series reactions, link to the patrons down below. So the first episode got us off to a very dark and dramatic start. It was Thanksgiving and Ginny and Austin were staying with Zion. It's been two weeks since they ran away from home. Georgia was very annoyed about it. She was very defensive. Paul was telling her like just to tell them that she misses them. But she was going, no, no, they run away from home. They can stay and acting like she didn't care when everyone knows that she does. Like the reason she's done everything she has is because of her kids. The Thanksgiving didn't go very well on either Georgia's side or Ginny's because Zion's family could see that Ginny was hurting and they called him out for not noticing. And then also Paul's parents did not like Georgia. <laughs> they seem they seem very judgmental and set in their ways. And I don't know if they're trying to sort of push that stigma of, you know, like rich white middle class family sort of uh, vibe there. Um, but yeah, they really did not like George's backstory and like it is, it is what it is. Like, she can't change what's happened in her past and she doesn't need to prove herself to anyone else. And they don't even you know the half of it. All they know is that she has two kids from two different fathers. That was no, their problem. They just see the surface of two kids, two different fathers. They immediately think, oh my God, this woman is like, you know, crazy, whatever. You know, she's just going to hop from one man to the next, like all of that. Uh, but you don't know someone's history and they've been uh, and especially with Georgia she's been through a lot so yeah they were very quick to judge and um but Paul was good though he did stand up to his parents and say I thought about it all and even despite all of that I still love her and I guess they're, they're gonna just still carry on like I love it when Georgia gets confronted by something and she'll put on that sickly sweet attitude. She'll be like bright kilowatt smiles and she'll be like, oh, it was so nice to see you <laughs> and stuff like that. It's just, it's like um, when she would speak to Cynthia back in season one, like, because, you know, Cynthia looked down on her um, and she would put on that, that famous Georgia smirk and just carry on, not let yeah. it get to her. And mm. I do actually really like that about her. We didn't get much Joe in the first episode and I swear to God if we don't get more Joe this season I will be annoyed because that is what yeah. fans have been campaigning for. He's everyone's favourite character and we got like one scene of him so hopefully he has no, more He's such season. a kind soul like he literally gave away a fr uh, two free meals for Cynthia and her family because mm. she's been struggling with the health of her husband you know he's just that type of guy you know even back in the day when he was a kid giving away that sandwich to georgia like he he's just really giving and a nice person i would love for him to be with georgia you know i i really would be rooting for it like he's just a really good person and i think his influence on georgia would be a good one and Ginny was really struggling with what she found out about her mom, she had a nightmare that Georgia killed her and then she resulted in self-harming herself in multiple ways. She carried on with the burning her legs with the lighter and then she burned herself in a bath. She got in a boiling hot bath and like sunk herself in it. <sighs> and I feel like the burner, the lighter thing, like we can imagine the pain, but we can't feel it. But like, we have all got in a bath that is too hot. We know that pain. And the thought of that makes my skin crawl. <laughs> yeah, it. I really felt like her pain watching that. Um, you can tell she is going through a lot of darkness. And I judged Sion a bit too quickly last uh, episode, saying he won't help, you know, he won't help... Uh, Ginny because he's you know a free spirit he I don't know I just thought he wouldn't but he did set up a therapy session for her and that is brilliant um I just hope like it works out for her and she's uh got the support of Marcus you know he saw her in the evening and sort of like explained that he was there for her and and that so yeah she's got she's got quite a good support network so I hope that 
It will really help her. You know, she needs it. 6 a.m. Ew. Oh, you stayed. Mm. Let me spot. No. Ew. Ew. I told you. <laughs> You're very cute, I have to say. <laughs> Seriously, it's sex. Your mom and kill me. Are they gonna hang mm. out at school? Yeah. Are they going to be public? I also have my first therapy session today. Oh, well, that was quick. Get that head fixed. Ginny, you up? Cool. 6 a.m. Yeah, I know, they're all up already. <laughs> Getting up. She God, said that it was, was good timing. against the world, but that wasn't true. Was it? But it must be exhausting hating your mum 24-7. I know. <laughs> Here. Oh. Oh my god, she's asking him to move in. Did you make space for me in your closet? I did indeed, Mr. Mayor. Ooh. Call me <laughs> We can sit him down and make the big move and announcement. There we go. For them to run wow, an actual mature decision. Well done, Georgia. As a team. Paul oh, is actually a very good influence on her. He I think so. a bit yeah. more level-headed. And the kids seem to like him too. I asked Paul to move in. Uh, what happened to the big? Congratulations. Thanks. Thank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened, Georgia? For God's sake, this is what I'm talking about. She gets really immature when things don't go her way. You're just gonna stroll in after a week with an air of mystique and zero explanation, like Cher. Just let me write you a note. No, I'm fine. Bye, Austin. Bye, Paul. Bye, sweetheart. You have a good day too. This is what I'm talking about! She acts like a child! <laughs> yeah, but when you think about it, Georgia never really got to be a child. You know what they say I when you have a rough childhood, you stay a child, don't you? I'm fine with her, like, acting like that, but like, when it comes to like, oh, I don't know, serious stuff, it just irritates me. Val's moving in. Well. Smart kid. Yeah. Like, when you <laughs> moved in with Kenny. No, no, not like Kenny. You break up, we'll just move again. <laughs> I love that! That's the spirit, Austin! <laughs> Can you forgive me? Shinny is mad, though. Yeah. But it's not because of him. I wonder just if... Say sorry. His father is the one that was banging on the door at the end of the first episode. He might have been. He must be dangerous if he's in prison. But I think Georgia set him up for prison. This period piece set in Regency England and it's about these noble wealthy families debuting their eligible daughters from I like Bridgerton. Wellington. Yeah. Wellington. Wellington. <laughs> what are we talking about? That is a is much better like haircut. Anyone who thinks so is an imbecile. Wait, I didn't see. Who's got yeah. that? Oh my god, Hunter's got a haircut. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Nobody say anything. <laughs> god, Hunter's literally not even looking at her. He's pretending she doesn't exist. <laughs> the fake laugh made it worse. Max is like really ugh, being really weird. Oh! Uh, no! Yes! Okay, a friend. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I no. know! Oh, she's off too! Oh, no one really wants to stick with her, do they? Oh, oh my god. What the frick is that? Nope. That is cursed. You two huddle while I'm at my interview for the neighborhood club. The neighborhood club? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why would you want to join that thing? It's a club for nothing. It's for tennis and social events. It's for members of the neighborhood. There, there is a three to four year wait list. Next what? time the list gets in when someone moves Very away or dies. I have been on that list for, a, what day is it? it? Three years. She's the mayoress though. Hunter, you're a good student who oh, always comes no, to class. Oh no, don't, I'm sure no. you take excellent fastidious notes. He's gonna ask, he's gonna Not ask him. Not really. Oh no. I doubt that. Could you lend Ginny your notes yep, for the last we couple of weeks, please? Uh, you, you don't have to do that. It's fine. Remember when that amazing, sexy model reached out to you on Instagram? That was really cool, oh, huh? Max, God. shut Max, up. shut up. This is our newest edition. What is that? Wow. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, that looks good. These poems, we have it on loan from the Dickinson estate for all of November. Excite? You pay money <laughs> to rent a book. You need a current member to campaign for your candidacy. Do you he just sponsored to join this, this club. 
Is this where Cynthia comes in? Or are you merely afraid the sun would taint my porcelain skin? Porcelain skin? Uh, my mind, it does protest me. I'm a fool. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. But I am so not getting cast as Josephine, though. What? Why? My porcelain skin? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's no way she's getting really cast for that. You change the line? I know it's unfair. Like, uh, I'm helping Bracia. She's auditioning for the play. Oh, nice. Cool. See you later. Who I think is she that? has a bit of a crush on her own. Oh my god, that was Brian. Oh, who's Brian? Don't call him Brian in case he hears you. <laughs> He's super popular and I can't believe you told him I was doing the play. What? You are doing the play. No, but it's like the play. Ew. So she's helping Max's, well, one of Max's competitors. Yeah, she's not gonna like that. be another betrayal. Oh my god, why does Zion always dad, walk in the school? Dad, like, just How is this allowed? I don't know. Everyone likes him. My next life, I want ugly parents. <laughs> I haven't had a shower in days. I lost count. I wasn't gonna say anything, but <laughs> I'm just so worried about Zach. Mm -hmm. I know he's gonna go through his whole life with no dad. It's a good thing that she didn't get the mayor. Could you imagine if she became the mayor and oh then had to deal God. with all this? Yeah, it'd be so messy. I don't want to not be married to Tom. <gasps> Am I about to cry at Cynthia? <laughs> Come on, mate, keep it together. I want to sponsor me for the neighborhood club. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> she actually <laughs> said it. You're a bitch. <laughs> I'm a good person to have on your side. Mm. You don't She's have to like bargaining with her. Mm. Pour me another shot. Oh, wow. I grew up with a single mom. We were really poor. We even had to sleep in the car a few times. This is going to be really interesting because we're going to be going into Ginny's memories. She invited me over to her house for a birthday party, and I'd never been to a party before, so I was super nervous. I remember I changed my outfit like four times. I never went. My mom moved us that night. Oh, How did it feel oh. when she did that? Bad. Your dad said you've been self-harming. Really catapulting into the deep end, aren't we? I was 12 when I first did it. I had the urge to do it, and when I did it, and as soon as I did it, I just kind of knew that I'd be doing it again. This therapy has been long overdue. Mm -hmm. It was that move after Mackenzie's party. And what were you feeling? Oh my God. Like I had no control. Where have you two been? Go easy on it. Would be nice to be looped in. He's such an elegant man. God, the way he I just know. turned that motorbike hand, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Even you were wowed by him. Yeah. Zion's got me too. I cooked salmon. I don't want it. If you don't eat this, you don't eat. Fine. He seemed really sad today. Zach's father's very sick. Oh, Jenny's so mad. Yes. You don't want to eat? Don't eat. No! Also, Marcus is ignoring her, which is weird. Uh-oh, -uh. no breakfast. Well, she's got bagels. I have a job, so I have food. I have a job. You sure about that? Typically, one doesn't leave their job for over two weeks and return to find that they still have it. I hope you saved a bagel for Austin. <laughs> Did you think about that one? I don't think these tactics are going to get her to... No, you know... this is what I'm saying. These ta this tactic of being immature isn't working, so you need to change your game plan here, Georgia. I'm going to New Orleans for a few days. You used to live there, right? It's your oh, first God. husband, Anthony Green. Uh, oh, see, no. the thing is, his mistake is giving her these tidbits of information. I know. Georgia is lethal with information. Hey there, little lady. Hey there, big fat girl. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I really didn't mean to. Was the guy B? It was a B. And what do we do with B's? <laughs> Shit, that's scary. Was she part of like, a gang or something? They're the people they that she found when she ran away from home. You haven't said anything to Paul yet. Why? Hmm. Yeah, that's just you a know good that question. If I go down, we all go down. It is your job to protect Paul, but you didn't. Ooh, I'm the she's she's so 
good at playing people. What does that say about you? <laughs> oh my god, I'd be so intimidated by her. I know, she's so smart. Austin is about to make a friend and I'm really oh excited. <laughs> oh. I think that's what you needed. That's really sweet. Sometimes you don't need words, you know? <laughs> she got the park of the Oh my god, oh. what? She got the main. Oh my god, Brisha, that's amazing. Yes. I can't believe I got it. Get you, my Josephine. Oh, here we uh, go. Thanks. <laughs> I'm the Duke. Oh, he's in the play too. <gasps> She's literally living like a fairy tale right now. No, 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 no. I actually then, don't I blame Joe for not wanting to hire her again. Really? <laughs> no. At least pretend to respect me. You know? I'm trying to run a business here. She's smiling because yeah, so she knows he's gonna do it. Sure. She's got a job back. I cannot support oh. Georgia Miller's memory. Oh. <gasps> Georgia Miller doesn't share the values of this neighborhood. Oh my Sim god. Has double crossed her. High school, and I cannot, in good conscience, endorse her. <gasps> Oh I truly God, believed she's... her when she told George she <laughs> Well would... done for that acting, Sophia. You did great. You have a date? That's none of your business. You totally what? Do. Who you wins? Date. It's me, Paul. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know what? Can I sit? <laughs> He's, He's so, so awkward. awkward. He wants Back. to fit in with them. Move in. I respect that you have a great dad that you can turn to, and I have Aww. zero interest in trying to step on that. I mean, taking credit cards out in his name, I mean, I just- Oh no! Credit cards? Oh gosh. I, your mom told me about that whole thing. This is another to, thing! I'm sorry that you had to go through that. It's up to you, however- She's not even listening to him anymore, no. she's thinking. She is enraged. <gasps> oh my god. But does Ginny not have her own credit card? She's like 16, isn't she? I mean, she doesn't have to. She has a job though, how does she get paid? Oh, I suppose, yeah. Maybe it's old school and she gets given cash in hand. <laughs> I like how this is like tables of turns. Why didn't you come over last night? I fell asleep. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> yeah. I came over here so that I wouldn't hurt myself. Yeah. I'm glad she's being honest as well. Is that is that me? Oh uh, no. He's drawing her oh, again. Oh my god. Yes, he's well, drawing her. <laughs> so much. <mischief>. Oh. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> it's funny to think that Max is literally probably on the other side of the wall. That's anytime there's a scene like this in a show, we always think of the other people in the house. <laughs> God, this is like that scene with Hunter in season one. Oh, <laughs> you she's... have to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> she's giving him pointers. <laughs> Love that. I remember how offended he was when he found out that she didn't come last time. Well, this is a good distraction, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it can be dark, incredibly dark one minute, and the next is this. Hmm. It shows how much they've grown from the start. She was like mad at him at first and now she's like this. Mm. She's not leaving through the window? Oh, Ginny! This is bad. Why would you leave through the door? Go out the same way you came in. Ginny is making me breakfast. Oh, she is? <laughs> Music what is that smoothie? <laughs> it's blue! <laughs> her face is horrifying! What is it? It's not the flower, is it? Mom. She's not poisoning him, right? So Ginny changes her outfit and then serves him a blue smoothie and that has her like trembling. I feel like she might have done something to it then. Yeah, like, I think she... maybe she's put the flower in there, but is she really going that far to poison Prove Paul? Prove a point and... Yeah, I know, like, is she becoming a mini Georgia? Like, she's figured out the game, you know? Georgia plays this this game, so she's playing her at her own game. Is that what we're seeing here? I, I feel like it might be. Um, I feel like she's trying to um, be a bit rebellious and prove that she isn't some kid, you know? She's tired of 
being out of control, giving Georgia all this say in how she lives her life and everything. And I think she's finally wanting to do something for herself. But that does not mean poisoning <laughs> good old Paul, is it? <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm really so interested about that now. What does that mean? I don't know. Well, she it's... can't just be shook that she's got ingredients for a smoothie. <laughs> I don't know. Was the, was the flower blue? Is that why the smoothie's blue? It's oh. purple. Yeah, I thought it was. It's purple. Maybe she mixed it with some blueberries, made it go a bit blue. <laughs> mm. Can you imagine? Like... Oh my god. It's so crazy if that's what she's done. Like, yeah. how is Georgia gonna go about this? She's gonna like toss the glass out of his hand, like, no! Don't kill my fiance! That's my job! <laughs> <laughs> Ginny is not that psychopathic though, surely. She wouldn't actually she's, like if Paul drank it, he would die. So Like she's she's not psychopathic, but she might be playing the game, you know? She might be testing her mum. Saying, one you know what? Play bitch, the game. I can do this too, or whatever. I don't know. This is just a little bit. Yeah, that's weird. Um, a horrifying end. I swear to God. I yeah. see. I said, um, "What if Georgia ends up killing Paul because she's killed all of her husbands so far?" No. But I love Paul. I don't want him to die. Like I like him more and more every year. Like I know I'm really liking Paul, and I think his his approach to Ginny and Austin. I think has been brilliant like I think mm. we can all say that Paul is excellent you know like stepfather material he's a great like husband material like he's just perfect um, yeah his his parents not so much but uh he's just really good and he's been really great with Ginny um and you know I, I would hate to see him die, <laughs> but if he did die, it means Joe can slip in. <laughs> Joe was on a date. Now who is that gonna be? I know. Is is Cynthia already recruiting a new partner? <laughs> oh, but let's talk That's about that though. I'm that sorry. was incredible. The double cross from Cynthia. I know. That was crazy. Like that is Cynthia's personality. You know. Um, in the throughout season one she's been this bitch you know she's been horrible she sort of plays george's game of getting doing anything to get your way yeah but obviously the help of her husband has knocked that down the two but you know she's back in the game by the looks of it she's back at it she's like no georgia is not coming into this pristine club where we worship book in a case you know oh. we're not gonna let her in here and she you know she stood her ground and I kind of respect her. So do I. I thought it would have been so out of character for her to just suddenly forgive I Georgia know. after one visit. Like, I yeah, know. Georgia told yeah. the truth and that's quite honourable. But I, it, after all they went through last season, for Cynthia to just roll over and get her in the club for no benefit of her own would have been so bad. It, we should have known, really. We should have known she would have pulled something like this. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad they didn't just change her whole character for that. Like, she may be going through a tough time, but she's still not friends with Georgia. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Um, yeah, I actually really like this episode. I much preferred it to the first one. It was a lot less dark. And... I told you, once they start going back to school, <laughs> the comedic stuff will come back. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot more lighthearted, and I really like that. It feels more sort of easy going the season one was uh and yeah it was a lot easier to watch even though obviously there are dark stuff and i really liked the therapy session scene mm -hmm. i thought it was quite a realistic example of sort of you know your first time going and not knowing what to do or what to say and i think looking into Ginny's mind and the memories she has would be really interesting you know because she's going to see stuff different to georgia and she's going to have different memories you know she remembers that party from when she was 12 getting really excited and changing her outfit four times but then moving that same night and hurting herself for the first time such a drastic contrast like it just shows the actions of georgia when she was bringing them up have affected Ginny. um yeah it's really really sad um, and I hope we get to see more of her sessions because I'd like to know more about what goes on in Ginny's head 
Yeah, um, exactly. And her coping strategies and stuff. Like, it's really interesting. Hmm, I agree. And I think we all knew that um, George's actions throughout her life were probably the cause of Ginny's self-harming. Um, the fact that Ginny grew up and she never really had any friends because she didn't have time to make them, like, she's probably got very low self-esteem and that's what makes her do this. But Georgia, you know, we also see her point of view on things because we know how hard she has tried for them and everything she's done is to try and protect her children. And yeah. so we can't fault her on that. She's tried the best that she could and considering she grew up with no good parental role models or adult role models she's honestly doing okay <laughs> i know i don't think there should be anyone to blame georgia or Ginny. i don't think you should pass the blame card onto anyone what happened happened and it sucked you know georgia didn't mean to have a shitty family you know that's not her fault yeah um, and she did what she had to do to survive and that's very you know that's a very good thing like she brought up her children despite everything like if it happened to the any old any old person i think they would have spiraled and who knows but georgia survived and she was clearly doing something right even though her actions today are quite inexcusable she did what she had to do she is very much a survivor that's it for today guys thank you for watching our reaction to season two episode two of Ginny and georgia if you want to watch our uncut reactions to Ginny and georgia the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for episode three bye bye